Hello Church, I'd like to read some scripture and then share some thoughts that will lead us into communion today. I'm reading from Psalm 100 verses 4 and 5. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name, for the Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. In the message version, a more contemporary version, it reads like this. Enter with the password, thank you. Make yourselves at home talking praise. Thank him, worship him, for God is sheer beauty, all generous in love, all loyal always and ever. I've been considering that word password and that the password is thank you, giving thanks. In my world, and I'm sure in yours also, our modern lives involve lots of passwords. We use them for bank accounts, phones, laptops, it goes on and on. The purpose of a password is to make something secure, to protect that information, but also to make a way to get somewhere directly and safely. So here we have verses talking about entering God's presence with thank you, like thank you is a password. Scripture also tells us that anyone, anytime, in every generation can use that universal password to, to come into God's presence. We might ask if everyone can access him from all around the world using the same password, then why do we even need one to enter his gates or in simpler words to come into his presence? Where I've come to in thinking about this is, is here. It remains a choice whether we're thankful or not. I choose whether I want to give thanks. It's something that I have to take responsibility for day in, day out, moment by moment. When I use a password on my laptop, I put in the password and then I have to push enter. When we use the password of thanks or thank you, we, there's no pushing and enter, no button required. Just thanks and praise is our password and that takes us directly into God's presence. We can be instantly there. God's love, God's presence shown so powerfully to us with God making a way for us, with Jesus making a way. Communion is a precious way of reminding us about this. For me, communion, my first communion, when I didn't really understand what it meant when I took that communion, it was the first time I ever experienced the presence of God. I hope you've been able to create a communion table of some sorts at your place. I'm going to pray now as we come to communion. Father, thank you for making a way to be in your presence. That is so simple. Father, sometimes we struggle with giving thanks and choosing to be thankful. Father, we are thankful this morning. Thank you, Jesus, for making a way for us. Thank you that we're able to share communion, to remind us of this. Thank you for the wine and the bread that symbolizes your love for us. That, Jesus, you gave up your earthly life by dying for us. Father, it seems to me that you're continuously pursuing us, making the way for us to choose to be in your presence. Let's choose to be in his presence this morning. Amen.